Today we'll see how to read bigger numbers. When you read smaller numbers, nobody has problems with that. But when you get into millions or you get into billions, it kind of throws you off. So I'm going to show you an easy way to read numbers and to really understand how they, how we say them. So let's say what are, the, let's see what the place values are. Okay, we start with ones. There's ones, then there's tens, and there's hundreds. And you must have learned in class that ten ones, you know the small little cubes, the ones that look like this. Ten of those make one ten, or sometimes we call it the long. And you also know that ten tens makes one hundred. Sometimes we call it the flat. Uh, now that looks more like a square. So you get the idea that ten of this makes one of this, ten of this makes one of this, and so on, including in the thousands, in the millions, in the billions, even trillions and all. But now let's see how are we going to read the numbers. Okay, let's get rid of this here. And I'll write a number. Let's say I write this. I think most of you would be able to read that. All you do is you tell the place value, the number and then the place value. So 658, that goes together. So now if I was to increase the numbers, what's the next one? Ones, tens, hundreds, and our next place value is thousands. So here's our thousands. And let's say I add the number 7. How are we going to read this? All right. We read the number here, and then we tell what's the place value. So 7,658. We'll keep that last part the same for now. Now when we get to this part, 10 of this makes 1 of this. So the place value here is 10,000. And then the next one is 100,000. So if our number was this, how am I going to read that? Now think about it as being a different boat, okay? So these guys are, these two are friends. He's by himself. And then these three guys are friends and they sit in the thousands boat. They go fishing a lot, so they need a boat. So that's called the thousands boat. All right, what I want you to do is when you do have a big number, you read the number inside, pretend it's just your normal number, okay? What's this number here? 267, that's it. Now, so you read the number and tell me the boat. 267,658, and there's your big number. Now, I'm going to scoot these guys a little closer because we want this number to get bigger still. All right, let's see. Now, what comes after thousands? Here's thousand, here's ten thousand, here's one hundred thousand, and let's say we had this number here. Our next boat is going to be the millions boat, and that's a pretty big number. If I had that many dollars, I'd be so happy. So we have our millions, okay? Now, if we follow the same pattern, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So what's our pattern? million, 10 million, and 100 million. And let's say my number is, all right, how am I going to read this number? We do the exact same thing that we did before. We read the number, tell the boat. Okay, so this is how it will go. We read the number, and these guys are sitting in the millions boat. So there's our millions boat, there's our thousands boat, and the rest of the number. So let's go by the millions, okay? So what's our number? 943, just your plain old number, sits in the millions boat. 714, thousands, 658. Now most often what happens is when you have a digit in every place value, it becomes easy to read a number, but that's not how math works. Sometimes you could have a zero and that throws you guys off. What if it was this? And what if it was this? You know what happens oftentimes? People then think of this as 900 million and then they're thinking of what am I going to say here? Don't worry about it again. Read the number, tell the boat. Read the number, tell the boat like this. What's the number here? 900. So it's 900 million, 704,658. See how easy that was? 
Now let's go into even bigger numbers. Billions. Even our Powerball lottery doesn't go that far. But I'll have to scoot them a little bit closer so I have enough room over here. Let's use a different marker now. Let's go with this. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, and hundred thousand. Then remember what it was? It was the millions, that's right. The millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. And we're really going to take this one big. Billion, ten billion and 100 billions. So these guys sit in the billions boat. These guys sit in the millions boat. These guys are in the thousands boat. He's by himself, poor guy, and then we read this number by itself. Let's see what's the next number. How about if we go with this, 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 and then all right. Now, normally, if you were to see this number in your journal or in your math class, you'd say, wow, I can't even do this one. But we are going to do the same thing again. All right. Read the number. Tell the boat. Read the number. Tell the boat. Ready? Let's go. So here's just in the billions boat, this is three all by himself. Don't worry about him. We'll just say what it is. So three billion, nine hundred sixteen million. 107,555. Wasn't difficult at all. How about if we increase the billions just a tish more? All right, I'm going to go with this, but then let's send three on vacation. So the three goes on vacation, and we have this. Don't worry about it. We're still going to do the same thing. Number, boat, number, boat. Ready? All right. 70 billion. 916 million, 107,555. Wasn't that difficult, was it? All right, how about if we went all the way to here? Let's say that those two went on vacation and our number is, all right, there we go. Now, don't get thrown off by this number. Looks big, but it's the same thing. Number, boat, Number boat. Capish? Let's go. 610 billion, 916 million, 107,555. Now, sometimes what happens is you have a bunch of zeros in there. All right. Let's say we were to do this and we were to do this. Okay? Now, what's that one going to be like? Let's start and again say the same thing. And if you have a zero in all the place values, we don't have to say it. They're all on vacation. Okay, let's see. 610 billion vacation. Okay, so we're not going to say that. 610 billion, 107,505. Does it make that e or doesn't it make it a whole lot easier? Now we do the same thing here. Let's change our numbers a little bit. And what if we had this? this. Okay? We're going to do the same thing again. Number boat. Let's go. 610 billion, 70,003. Okay, I hope this has really helped you. And next time what we'll do is in part two, we can write a number out and see how it fits into the place values. All right, I hope you have fun reading these numbers and good luck with it.